you know, they did pass uh, 80,709 tickets yesterday, um, you know, which was uh, whatever, you know, it was, that was the goal, you know, I mean, they, they hit the last goal. So, um, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess there's, there could be other goals. I mean, as far as like whatever the paid is to, you know, set the paid mark. And I don't know how far they are from that, but they're not far. But um, yeah, why are there two numbers, by the way? Why is there a tickets out number and a paid number? uh, Because there's two numbers, you know, I mean, um, I mean, I guess the the real number should be the paid number. So that's seventy nine thousand eight hundred. We don't know what the paid is because, you know, we just get when it comes to this stuff, um, you know, the only thing that we can monitor is. This is the number of this is the capacity and this is the number of seats that are still unsold each day. That's the only way you can monitor it. And if you give the ticket away or somebody buys the ticket, it's still not a ticket that you can sell anymore. Mm -hmm. So until it's an audited number, you're not going to really know the paid. I would expect, but I would not be guaranteed, but I would expect that, you know, in the, in the, uh, press conference the minute that show's over you know like you you would have at ufc that tony will come out and and say the number Mm -hmm. but um you know i'm not 100 percent sure that he will i am pretty much sure that you know we will get the number because we always do you know we'll get the number you know within a couple weeks um and you know whatever it is you know um i mean you know the, the show hasn't been heavily papered as far as we can tell because If there were a ton of freebies out there, you know, we would know, you know, because believe me, not only do they have so many enemies that would want it out, but, um, you know, it just word gets out, you know, when something's being papered. I mean, there have been shows where, you know, we have known, you know, with AEW when it's when it's a lot of free tickets and usually it's not. But there have been there have been shows that where there where there have been like the um, the Las Vegas pay-per-view, you know, for example, I mean, we knew. This one, I mean, and that was still only like 1,500. Mm -hmm. This one I'm not hearing, but I don't know, you know, again, I don't know exactly what the paid was other than um, last I heard the paid was 73, which is a fantastic number. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I mean, whatever it is, you know, if it's it's the biggest paid attendance in history, then wonderful. If it's the third biggest paid attendance in history, it's still wonderful. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's far, far, far more successful than not anyone because there were absolutely were people who predicted it would, it would sell out, you know, but most people, you know, were, were between 30 and 50 and many under 20. So it blew away. And, and I know what Tony's number was because he and I discussed it and it was 50, you know, so it, it's going to be, you know, 60% above his projections. Um, so, I mean, he's blown away. Everyone's blown away. So, I mean, the show is an unbelievable success, you know, and, um, again, you know, it's like, I think the big question is, I mean, we had Andy Quilden on the show and I mean, you know, and he thought they could do it again, although kind of thought maybe it would two years before you go back. Yeah. But, but, um, you know, they could use this, you know, they, they, they have, there are four big shows a year or five big shows a year now, but perhaps they could use this all in to be their big show. But it's like, okay, so next year, if you're not going to go to England, I suppose you could go to Australia, but you're not, I don't, I don't see a stadium show in Australia. I don't, I just don't see them being over enough. I do see them being able to go. I don't know how visible their, their television is, but just, well, I mean, I, I, I can't even say a guaranteed, for Australia, because I, I remember when Hogan and Flair went to Australia and they bombed, not bombed to strong of a word, but they were, they were clearly unsuccessful. Um, so, you know, yeah, WWE, when they go to Australia is very, very successful. That doesn't mean AEW will be, um, you know, perhaps. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, you know, perhaps you could use all in as a name for an international show every year. Maybe not, you know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if they're strong enough in Germany to do it. You know, Japan working Japan. If they work with new Japan, I know, I know they would do reasonably well, you know, but I would, I would, I wouldn't, I would not book, you know, that would be a, um, you know, a Budokan that you would book. I wouldn't, 
book that for um, Tokyo Dome or anything. I don't see that, but, um, but maybe. Um, so, you know, but it's, it's like this, could this be, or did you do something in, in like Chicago or Los Angeles or Toronto? Maybe, you know, um, try stadium in Toronto. Uh, you know, it was first time in, I would say yes. You know, now I'm not as sure. Cause I mean, the reality is, is like, the, you know, like this show is all well and good and it's fantastic and all that. And it's, 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 a, you know, if it's once in a lifetime, then it's once in a lifetime and but they still did something nobody else has, has ever done except wwe and you know and even wwe they may they may be the best thing wwe's ever done i mean it's still you know when i sit back and think that you know remembering how big hogan and andre is and you know they surpass that number so it tells you you know which you know what's funny is 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 when they surpassed the hogan and andre number it it wasn't I didn't, I mean, I certainly heard it and I, I, I mean, the stuff that I expected to hear, I did, but this one yet yesterday when they surpassed the, you know, the record, the highest WWE ever, as far as appearing to surpass it, because it's two different stats. It's like, that was the number of people in the building. This is the number of tickets out there. It, it could be that there are people with tickets who may not come, but we also have another week to sell more tickets. And, you know, it could be a couple thousand more tickets at the end. I mean, it could be. Um, SummerSlam sold 4,000 tickets in the last five days. So it's like you could, you know, I don't know that this will get that kind of a walk up because the it doesn't have as hot a main event. But maybe, maybe it does, you know, but it would, you know, and maybe the idea is SummerSlam was a big event for sure. But this is a bigger event in the sense of being, you know, just the idea of being in the building with 80,000 people itself is part of the, you know, part of the draw. I mean, when they came out there and they did 60, it was kind of like, you know, the, it was it was like, you know, that that was probably most of the people who wanted to go, except the word being out that so many people were going makes it an event. And at that point, more people want to, you know, the, the success of the event ended up making the event more successful, you know, that, 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 uh, momentum or whatever you want to call it, being wanting, wanting people to be part of it because more than the matches themselves. I mean, it's not like a match was announced and then boom, all of a sudden they sold, you know, a couple thousand extra tickets that has not happened. It's more, um, you know, like WrestleMania, you know, on WrestleMania Friday, you know, whatever. I mean, they started ticket sell sales actually, um, I believe it was Tuesday and there was some pre-sales and everything, but you know, 45,000 tickets both nights, uh, claiming $21.5 million, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal number. It's over $200 a ticket. Um, so that's a great, great success for WrestleMania as well. But, uh, but yeah, when they passed that, that WrestleMania 32 record, yeah, I, you know, I heard a lot of stupidity. Um, well, who, who actually audited that? Because didn't Vince say something like, Oh yeah, maybe there was like twenty thousand ticket takers and people in the back. And well, like, no, who, but it's who, not even. It's not even that. It's not even like, like when they do a number like that. Okay, when they do a number like that, like they'll, you know, you go in there and it's like at Royal Rumble. They, you know, we saw exactly what they do. Okay, because because um, Brandon Thurston actually got the because public record because it, it was a city promotion of of them explaining what they want as attendance. And I mean, it's, it's the number that they released for San Antonio for Royal rumble. Okay. It's a complete fake number. Okay. But they tried to justify it. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's the number of tickets out, including people who weren't in the building, but might've gotten free tickets. Um, so it's the to that total number plus everyone working in the building, which nobody counts. I mean, there's, there's nobody who counts that. Plus, the they they wanted if every press box seat was filled every and you never nobody counts press every member even though the press box was nowhere near full if every press box seat was full they're all counted if every luxury box was full which it also wasn't they're all counted including luxury boxes that were tarped off they were included in the capacity. Also, everyone, like I said, everyone working at the building was counted. And not only that, you know, like when you go to the building and the people are out there and they're directing parking or they're working in the parking mm -hmm. lot or they're working anything, they're counted too. 
So that's how they got the number. It's, it's completely fake number. Now, the, the Dallas number, the 101,000, that's like WrestleMania 3 where it's just we're making up a number. You know what I mean? Right. It's like it's like we're making up a number, you know, and, and they had to announce over 100,000. We knew that um, because they had kind of promoted in that direction. But it was totally made up. You know what I mean? Even if you included everyone working in the building, every, you know, all that, you're, you're still – there were 80,709 in the building that went through the turnstiles that were actual fans that's paid and, um, and comps Mm -hmm. both. Um, but it does not include people who didn't, who have tickets that didn't come. Okay. So that's that where the 87, 80,709 comes from. The 101,000 is just a made up number. There's probably 93,000. If you include everything, you know, stretching it out, ticket takers, blah, blah, blah. And all that, um, you know, and, and again, with WWE, you count everyone backstage, you count all the, the performers, you count all the performers friends, you count all of their relatives, you count the seamstress, you count the agents, you count the cameramen, you know, and all that. Even who, then, you're whose no- job is that to just start pointing and count like who are all these people in the back that who, whose job is that to make sure that they, they get that number? Um. I don't know, but when they went for the Royal Rumble, they got a number, and then they went right back to the building and goes, this number isn't high enough. <laughs> <laughs> they wow. actually did that. They, they, there's, there's a message. There's an actual email message from WWE going, this isn't high enough. Can you figure out a way to get us a bigger number? You know, and it's like, okay, we'll count, we'll count the tarped, uh, the tarped up, press <laughs> bo- I mean, tarped up um, luxury boxes that nobody's in that's, that aren't even open. Wow. And we'll count, like, that they're full capacity. Okay, we'll count... We'll count the people who are, are directing traffic into the parking lot. You know, I mean, it's like, you know, so, I mean, like those numbers are ludicrous because again, like nobody counts them, nobody else. So, I mean, the paid number should be like, if we're going to do a real record, that means something should be the paid number. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, now for that show it was 79,800, which is, uh, you know, I don't know that a W I don't believe a W at this point has beaten it, but it, it certainly would have a chance to beat it. Um, you know, it's, I, I think it's going down on the wire on that one. So uh, I was, uh, know. I was one of those people. I was actually at that show, WrestleMania 32. So Ricky Starks comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in, I don't even know how long Ricky Starks last week cheated to win the Owen Hart cup. So this man comes out and he is cheered. He talked about how much money he had. His expensive shoes, his expensive bag. Mm-hmm. He's rich, you see. So to review, if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like, oh, I don't know, a Tesla or a watch, and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses, people might not like you. I have no what idea getting? what you're talking about. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.